Uh, I'll tell you, you know, we, you know, I've been going back and forth with him, uh, and the other morning uh, we FaceTime, and um, I just can't believe the progress that he's made in such a short period of time. You know, and um, <laughs> you know he's uh, still got a long way to go, but I think you know that one thing is it shows how much this UConn means to him, and how much football and his teammates mean to him. For him to come down here, and I wish everybody had his demeanor, his work ethic, his passion, his heart. You know, because we'd probably be undefeated if we had guys like that. You know, and you know he's lifting, he's doing running. I mean, he's doing every. He's trying to get back here to just be involved in school in January. And um, but to have him here. Uh, I know it was an insp it was inspiring to me, and uh, I hope it was inspiring to everybody else because having seen that young man, uh, you know, the day after you know it happened, uh, and being in the hospital, and seeing where he was then to where he is now, you know, it's incredible, and a lot of it is because of his his drive and his want to and you know the doctors did a great job but you talk about a guy that's trying to tax everything with his whole body whole heart you know so it was good to see him see him here it was good to have um, Denisha and Jemaya here you know because um, they yeah. they haven't seen um, what we did for Jazz in the Burton Complex and for them to get back and take them through last night and have them uh, see uh, Jazz's pictures, team pictures up there, you know, his daughter, Shemaya doesn't even know, know her dad, uh, you know, those are things that are priceless and, you know, people don't see but understand it, what family's all about, but uh, why you do the things that you do um, as a coach and that's what's important um, those relationships and those and Donald Thomas you know being here and having him talk to the guys uh, today you know and giving him letting him tell his story and then also letting him, them know the pride that he has in this program and how hard you have to work and how much you have to put into it um, if you want to be good. And we can't have enough of that history and tradition coming back and trying to, and working along with us to instill those things, you know, in these kids. Because there's a lot of guys and a lot of people who've invested a lot who want to make sure that, uh, that they understand there's people supporting them and want them to do well. And, you know, what they got to understand, it doesn't happen overnight that those kids just got to keep working and keep busting their tail you know each and every day in the weight room in the classroom and do all those things and if you do that then you put yourself in a position you know to win so